Question number eight, snack mixture. A snack is a mixture of peanuts, raisins, and pretzels in the ratio seven to four to two. The word respectively is here because that means that the uh, order the three peanuts, raisins, and pretzels were listed matches up with the order of the ratio. So peanuts was listed first, so that's the seven, raisins was second, so that's the four, and pretzels was last, so that's the two. If a bag of the mixture has a mass of 300 grams, what is the mass of each of the ingredients in the bag? And I'm going to show th two different solutions here. Uh, uh, the first one, what we need to do in this first one is find a number that we multiply the ratio by, because if you multiply every number in the ratio by the same number, then they stay in the same ratio. We need to find what number we add, we multiply each of them by so that the three numbers add up to 300. So I'm going to call that number k that we're multiplying. We're trying to find what k is. So we're going to multiply 7, 4, and 2 by k. So the ratio becomes 7k, 4k, and 2k. And those three are going to add up to 300 because we want to find these three masses that in that ratio add up to 300. Now 7k and 4k is 11k plus two more k's would be 13k. So this simplifies the 13k equals 300. And I want to isolate for k here. So the 13 is multiplied by the k, so we undo multiplying by 13 by dividing by 13. That's what this next line shows. So the 13k is uh, being divided by 13, and the 300 is also divided by 13. Remember, you have to do the same thing to both sides. We can't divide the left by 13, but not the right. And so those k's divide out, sorry, the thir 13's divide out to give us just k. And 300 divided by 13 is 23.077. So that's the number we're going to multiply the 7, 4, and 2 by, and that's what this next line is showing. We're going to multiply the ratio by that 23.077. So 7 times that is 161.5. 4 times the 23.077 is 92.3. And 2 times 23.077 is 46.2. And so the 161.5 grams is the mass of the peanuts, the 92.3 grams is the mass of the raisins, and the 46.2 grams is the mass of the pretzels. And we can check to make sure that this all makes sense here. If we take that 161.5 and add the 92.3 and the 46.2, Notice it does add up to exactly 300 grams. So that's the first solution. Second one here, we're going to find the uh, fraction or percent of the, uh, the, the bag that's peanuts, raisins, and pretzels. So the 7, 4, and 2 from the numbers in the ratio add 13. So the 7 number was the peanuts. So this means that the mixture is 7 thirteenths or 0.5385 or 53.85 percent peanuts. The uh, the fraction that's raisins, the raisins was the second number, so 4 over 13, 4 thirteenths or 0.3077 or 30.77 percent is raisins. And the, the two number was the pretzels, so 2 thirteenths is pretzels, uh, 2 divided by 13 is 0.1538 or 15.38 percent. So now to find the mass, masses of each in the bag, the peanut amount, we would take this 0.5385 and multiply it by 300 because that's the mass of the bag, which gives us 161.6. Of course, uh, uh, slightly different than the number up here just because of a little bit of rounding. The raisin amount, the 0 0.3077 times 300 is 92.3, which is exactly the same. And the pretzel amount, uh, 0.1538 gets multiplied by 300 to give us 46.1 grams, very slightly different than what we have up here. So the, the amounts are very slightly different. If we'd actually taken this out to more decimal places, we, we could have gotten exactly the same amount here. So uh, it's really not to worry about a tenth of a gram uh, difference in each one. These, actually, these numbers actually still add up to exactly 300, just like the ones uh, above do.